Everything you need to know about the plus que parfait in less than 10 minutes. C'est parti. What is the plus que parfait? The plus que parfait, or plus perfect as we say in English, indicates a past action that happened before another past action started. It's like when we say in English, had done, I had done. How to conjugate the plus que parfait? Now, to conjugate the plus que parfait, we're going to use être or avoir, conjugated in imparfait, plus the past participle of the main verb. You remember how, when we were conjugating passé composé, we used être with verbs of movement, which is Dr. Mrs. Van der Trump, and pronominal verbs like se réveiller, se doucher, and the rest. Then we used avoir on every other verb that did not fall under Dr. Mrs. Van der Trump or pronominal verbs. Yes, that rule also applies here in the plus que parfait. So, if you want to know how to conjugate imparfait, click on this video. If you want to know how to conjugate passé composé, click on this video. Now let's conjugate être and avoir in imparfait. Être, j'étais, tu étais, il or elle or on était, nous étions, vous étiez, il, elles étaient. Avoir, j'avais, tu avais, il, elle, on avait, nous avions, vous aviez, il, elles avaient. Now, keep the rule in mind. It is être or avoir conjugated in imperfect tense plus the past participle of the main verb. Let's take some examples. Let's conjugate some verbs. Oublier, to forget. J'avais oublié, tu avais oublié, il, or elle, or on avait oublié, nous avions oublié, vous aviez oublié, il, or elles avaient oublié. That would mean, I had forgotten, you had forgotten, he, or she, or one, or we had forgotten, we had forgotten, you had forgotten, and they had forgotten. For example, tu avais oublié l'anniversaire de ta meilleure amie. Tu avais oublié l'anniversaire de ta meilleure amie. That means you had forgotten your best friend's birthday. How could you? You're not a good friend. Let's move on. Partir, to leave. So because partir is part of Dr. Mrs. Van der Trump, it is a verb of movement. Therefore, we're going to be using être to conjugate partir. C'est parti. <laughs> J'étais parti. Tu étais parti. Il était parti. Elle était parti. On était parti. Nous étions partis. Vous étiez partis. Ils étaient partis. Elles étaient partis. I had left. You had left. He had left. She had left. We or one had left. We had left. You had left. And they had left. Notice how I wrote some E's in brackets, some S in brackets. That is because when we use être to conjugate plus que parfait or passé composé, the past participle of the main verb must agree with the subject. So if your subject is feminine, you're going to add E to the past participle of the verb. If it is a plural subject, masculine plural, you're going to add S. If it's feminine plural, you're going to add ES. That's why I put them in brackets. So you would decide when forming your sentences. For example, Elle était partie sans laisser l'adresse. She had left without leaving the address behind. Now let's conjugate a pronominal verb. A reflexive one at that. S'évanouir, which means to faint. We're also going to be using être to conjugate this because it is a pronominal verb. Je m'étais évanoui. Tu t'étais évanoui. Il s'était évanoui. Elle s'était évanoui. Nous nous étions évanouis. Vous vous étiez évanoui. Il s'était évanoui. Elle s'était évanouie. That would mean I had fainted, you had fainted, he had fainted, she had fainted, we had fainted, you had fainted, and they had fainted. For example, je m'étais évanouie dans la pharmacie. I had fainted in the pharmacy. Now, moving on to 
uses of plus que parfait. Number one, the plus que parfait indicates a past action that happened before another past action started. Therefore, the plus que parfait is often combined with a dependent clause that states this clearly. When we talk about dependent clause, you, you mean what follows the first event. You're going to see this in this example. Elle avait faim parce qu'elle n'avait pas eu le temps de déjeuner. She was hungry because she had not had the time for lunch. The first event here is she was hungry. Now the next event is she had not had the time for lunch. So they are leading, one is leading to the other. They are sort of linked. So that is what we mean by one past action happening before the other past action. Another example. Je ne m'étais pas rendu compte que j'étais malade. I had not realized that I was sick. First event, I had not realized. Second event, I was sick. So the first one led to the other. Sometimes it could be switched. It could be the second event leading to the other. That means the first clause could be in plus que parfait and the second one in passé composé or imparfait. Or you could switch it up. Either way works. It's still plus que parfait and it's still leading to one another. Two, whenever one past action leads to another, the plus que parfait must be used. This is important because sometimes in English, the plus que parfait is translated as the simple tense. For example, you could say something like, Leah had to take the medicine that the doctor prescribed. In French, there would be an invisible had in that sentence. So it's going to be that the doctor had prescribed. That's how you would say it in French because it's two events leading to the other. Let's translate it. Léa a dû prendre le médicament que le médecin lui avait prescrit. Do you see it now? Another example. Elle a eu une réaction allergique aux médicaments qu'elle avait pris. This means she had an allergic, re allergic reaction to the medicine she took. In bracket, had taken. Do you see the point? Now, three. Si seulement plus, plus que parfait. It is a sentence construction that is used to express wish or regret about past events, of course. For example, si seulement il était allé chez le médecin plus tôt. If only he had gone to the doctors earlier. Si seulement elle n'avait pas raté son examen. If only she had not failed her exams. Voyez? Now let's do a quick test, a, a quick quiz on plus que parfait to allow it sink in. Fill in the blank space by conjugating the verb in bracket in plus que parfait. Allez-y. One, tu se demandais dash s'il était allergique. What would the conjugation be? T'étais demandé. T'étais demandé. Why? Because se demander is a pronominal verb. Two. Il prendre dash un cachet d'aspirine. What would it be? Il avait pris. Il avait pris. Three. Nous se réveiller dash à l'aube. What would it be? Nous nous étions réveillés. Nous nous étions réveillés. D'accord. Write down your score in the comments. Don't cheat. Make sure you write down your score, your exact score. If you got zero, write it down. And that is that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more interesting, very explanatory content like this. And do not forget to follow my other social, my Instagram and TikTok, because I post short, concise videos there every single day. And once again, my name is Elizabeth Inkeri, and on this channel, we make learning French fun and interesting. So once again, subscribe, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. A bientôt.